started um, when I was 19. I um, opened the school after finishing dance college. Um, so when I gained all my teaching qualifications, um, I set up my own school in South Derbyshire. So it's been going 25 years. I'm giving my age away now. Um, but yes, it's, it's been going from strength to strength. So that's how it's basically started with one three, four pupils and it's now um, escalated to the fact that we've got 120 and 130 um, pupils so of, of, of all ages whether it be um, small children, preschool children at two, right up to um, older, older, more mature ladies and gentlemen that come along um, to still continue a love of something they did when they were they were younger and want to carry it on. And you have some teacher assistants as well, uh, Lucy. Tell us about them. Yes, I've got lots of um, teenage girls that love coming and helping with the little ones. I've also got um, my daughter that has obviously gained her teaching qualifications and as, um, is one of the main teachers at the school as well as me. And um, another teacher, um, Claire, that assists me um, when we've got two or three classes running at the same time. I, I was hoping there'd be a boy here tonight so we could talk to him about it because, I mean, do boys uh, take to this sort of dancing or, or what is the situation? I think um, things are very much changing now through Strictly Come Dancing. I think um, seeing all the boys and how strong they are and how they lead the girls. So I, um, I think that it's the way forward and a lot more boys are getting into it and it's not um, what we had years ago when I was at school. It was, a, it was not the done thing to do. Um, now everybody can see that you need to go to the gym, you need to train and it's a strong, you need to be strong, you need to be athletic. Um, so yes, I've got um, about four boys at my school. Um, and at the minute they're very, very keen and then under no pressure from friends at school and they feel quite proud and happy to be coming to class taking their exams. I had a boy that did very, very well in his um, ballet exam, he got distinction. You know, we've had all these things, like I said, like the Strictly, like Billy Elliot the film. Um, a lot of the boys end up being born in a class full of lovely girls and, and yeah. then all the mates are jealous that, oh God, you go and see girls, how many girls on a, a Friday night or a, sa a Saturday afternoon, you know. But I think some of them have dreams and aspirations of actually, you know, probably ending up performing or teaching in the future. And, and a lot just come when they've been at school all day, they come for a break, they come for the social aspect, they come to exercise, they come to actually have a complete break away, uh, away from schoolwork and exams. That There's so much pressure on children nowadays. I mean, we do exams as well, but it's a different kind of, a different kind well, of thing. They can they... express themselves more. Ready? Out. what you get from this? Lots of friends. I yeah. mean, I've been here a very, very long time and over the time I've made like so many friends that it's just connections with everywhere. And some of them have gone off to dance in London and do all sorts. And it's just nice to know that we're all about and doing things. And are, you, are you competitive <coughs> with each other? No. no. Not at all. We don't, we don't. <laughs> These two are mean but we don't, we don't compete, no, we just do it for the love of dance and to sort of get better doing exams, not by competing with other people. So you've got no hidden desires to get on the stage? We do like, we do shows and things, but we don't want to go and compete against other girls because we just like to keep ourselves together and sort of friendly and just do sort of friendly shows and do our exams and grade and things. Is there anybody else who might have other ideas about this, you know, of possibly <laughs> dancing on the stage one day. Has anybody got thoughts of that? <laughs> I suppose like when you're little, it's always like a dream that you have, but then when you get older, it's, you can see like the, what the options are out there and it's a lot harder than you might think. So there must be a, quite a big fun factor here for you all to do this. It's all, uh, yeah. 
Mm, it's yeah. all a, a bit of fun as yeah. well as a serious uh, thing you have to do to learn yeah. dancing. I think it's more like a break from what we do because obviously we're like at school or university or work and it just sort of brings us away from that to do something different for a night or two a week yeah. and then we can just sort of be together and dance and learn new things. How much sort of rehearsing do you do? I mean, um, we train, oh, train like, we have classes on a Monday for our age, it's like from half, about half six till our class that finishes at, is it quarter? So quarter past nine. nine. Quarter past nine. And then you can, we have like private lessons on a Thursday for an hour. And then there's classes on a Saturday that are for, is it? For like a catch up session. Yeah, for we like, things that's when we do a week. <laughs> Your daughter's a pupil here. Now tell us, how old is she? Amber's 14. Amber's 14. Tell us about how she got involved. Uh, when she was three years old, she started with Lucy. <coughs> and she's come ever since. She comes, um, what, three times a week she comes to Lucy for dancing lessons. So, yeah, she loves it. And she's, she's at intermediate level already, so she's really enjoying that. Well, she's grown up with Lucy's youngest daughter, Darcy, so they've gone through the classes together and danced together. And she's stuck at it. Yeah, yeah, she loves it. And I think, obviously, she's grown close to Lucy, so it's just part of her life now. Some of them have gone off to dance in London and do all sorts and it's just nice to know that we're all about and doing things 